Let's start simple and let's start with taking a look at very basic uh, arithmetic operations. And what are the most basic uh, operations that we can do in mathematics? Well, those are going to be the, the four usual suspects, adding, subtracting, multipli multi multiplying and dividing. All right. So this is going to be as easy as, for example, here I have a program where I have de declared uh, two integer variables. Remember, integers are those numbers that do not have a decimal part, and I will, and you will see very soon why I chose uh, integers. Um, and I gave them the value of seven and three, right? So what I can do is I can now, for example, start creating a bunch of other variables that are the result of operating between a and b. So, for example, I can create a new variable called sum, which is going to be. Um, is going to be the, the value of adding a plus b. And look what's happening here. I'm getting an error because it says that this num the name sum does not exist in the current context. Remember that um, whenever I declare a variable for the first time, I have to declare it, which means that I need to add the type of what variable this is going to be. And if I'm adding two integer values together, what do you think the result is going to be? Three, two, one. The resulting type of that variable is going to be an integer. Uh, because if I'm adding two integers together, the result is also not going to have a decimal part. So the type of sum should be of the type integer. All right. And then to make sure that this is working correctly, I can say, let me write the value of sum to the console. And let me here all the way at the bottom. Uh, let's just um, pause the program by adding a read key, a read key uh, command. If I run this code by pressing F5, what you can see is that um, this window pops up and I get the value of 10 printed in the console because that is the sum of seven plus three. All right. Um, so very easy. So with the addition symbol, uh, we can just add numbers together. And obviously, I can do multiple, I can do subtraction. So for example, what do you think the symbol for subtraction is going to be? It's probably going to be the hyphen, right? So a minus b. And then the value for multiplication is going to be a asterisk b, a times b. All right. And what about division? Integer uh, division is going to be a divided by b. Okay, so that makes a lot of sense. So let's see if this works well. So I'm going to print the value of the four uh, variables to the console. And this is going to be sum, subtraction, multiplication and division. All right. Um, so can you spend three seconds thinking about what those results are going to be? Sum is going to be seven plus three, that's going to be 10. Subtraction is going to be seven minus four minus three, so that's going to be four. Multiplication, seven times three is probably going to be 21. And division is going to be seven divided by three, which I believe is two point something, 2.33333, right? So let's see if that's true. Let me run this code. And if I zoom in here, we can see that indeed we have the sum is 10, 4, 21. However, the division, which we expected it to be something like 2.33333, it actually is the value of two. What is happening here? Uh, we need to take into consideration one thing. We need to keep something in mind. And this is very important. This is the result of the fact that um, C Sharp is a strongly typed language, which means that when we are dividing two integers, in this case, because both values are of the integer type, the result is also going to be an integer, which means that uh, what C sharp does by default, when it divides two integers, is that it makes that division, but then it trims off, it removes all whatever, however many decimals that division had. And then the result is the integer part of that division, the whole number. So if this had been, for example, even if it had been 2.66666, which would have rounded up to three, the result is still only the decimal, sorry, the integral part of that division. So we need to be careful with beware of integer division. 
we need to be very careful with um, when we divide values in um, in um, in C sharp because uh, if we divide two integers by default, the result is going to be an integer. Uh, so in by the default behavior of division is going to be integer division. All right, which may sound weird and unintuitive, but it actually has a lot of um, very a lot of applications. So um, if we actually wanted this division to not behave as an integer division, but to behave as a regular division, there are a couple of things that we could do. So for example, one thing that we could intuitively think that we could do would be like, well, if I define the variable as a type double, so for example, division, like real division, right? And I divide A divided by B, and I now, let me move this up here, and then let me print the value real division, right? I might be inclined to believe that this is going to work, but if I execute this code, you will see that the result of real diff is actually still the value of number two. How is this possible? I did, I made this a double variable, so it should be able to hold uh, the decimal part of this division, right? This has to do with what I explained in my previous videos about how declaration and how assignment work. Remember that when we have a statement like this, this whole line of code is a statement, and the statement is an assignment statement, so I'm basically computing this and storing the result in here. Remember that the order in which this thing happens is from the right hand side to the left hand side, which means in this statement, the operation, the expression that is evaluated first is the right hand side of the assignment operator, which means that A divided by B happens first, but because these two values are integer types, the division of these two values is already an integer division, no matter where we end up storing this, no matter if the container that we choose to put that result in is can take double values, it doesn't matter because when this gets executed, the result of this is already an integer division. So that doesn't work. This is not going to work. What we could do is two things. We could either change one of the values here to be, for example, 3.0. However, this, so this would work here at this point because now the division is an integer divided by a double and the result of that division is a double opera is a double is of a double type. However, in my case, because I have all this other code that relies on these variables being integers, I kind of broke a lot of code by doing this. So it's not it's not a great solution It's possible, but it's not great in the context of my particular program. I think what I want to do in my case is I want to temporarily just for the sake of this one division, I want to temporarily take one of the two elements, convert it into a double, and then by making a division between an integer and a double, I know that the result of that division will always be a double. And if you remember from my previous video when I talked about type conversions, I remember that I said that you can temporarily cast a variable that is from one particular type to a different type. So by doing, uh, by doing this expression, so by writing in parentheses in front of the variable that you want to cast, writing in parentheses the type that you want to cast this variable to. So what's going to happen in this, in this expression is the computer is going to try to solve this and for doing that, first it's going to take B, it's going to turn it into a double, then it's going to perform the division and then the result of that, which is already a double, is going to be stored inside of this variable here. And if I run this code, I believe that now I will be getting the real solution. Exactly. I will be getting 2.66667. Okay. Uh, even though B is still an integer and after this line of code will always be an integer. This casting operation is just a temporary thing. It's just a one off for the sake of this division that I'm doing in this line of code. All right. So 
Keep in mind that uh, basic arithmetic operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and, 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 and multiplication, are super straightforward, as you would expect. However, in C Sharp, we need to be careful about integer division because at the beginning, I know this from experience and from my teaching, um, it's something that we tend to forget, uh, and sometimes it leads to problems and things not working the way we expect. Okay, so be aware of integer division uh, until you remember it, and then you can start learning how to use it to your advantage.